Hello students, today I am going to tell the answers of page number 153 of chapter 9, Force, Work and Energy. Here you have to write different types of force being applied in each picture. I think you have done this. Now I am going to tell the answers. You please check your answers. The first one is the exam an example of magnetic force. Here the boy is holding a magnet in his hand and standing nearby the refrigerator. As the door is made of metal, it attracts the magnet. So ma this is an example of magnetic force. Now the second one. It is an example of frictional force because surface of the tire rub against the road. So this is an example of frictional force. Third one, this is an example of muscular force because the boy is applying force by his muscles to open the door. Fourth one, this one is also an example of muscular force because the boy kicks the football with the help of the muscles of his leg. Now fifth one, this is an example of gravitational force. An apple is falling from the tree due to gravitational force. Now, last one. This is an example of mechanical force. The boy is using hammer to fix the nail. Now, moving on exercises of chapter 9. Exercises. Question number 8. Take the correct answer. Number 1. Which of the following forces causes wear and tear of machine parts? Options are frictional force, gravitational force, muscular force and magnetic force. Answer is frictional force. Question number 2. Which of the following statement about work is correct? Options are work is done when force is applied. Number B. Work is done only when an object is displaced. Number C. Work is not related to the amount of force applied. And number D, work is not related to energy. The correct statement is work is done only when an object is displaced. Now, question number 3. Which of the following statements is incorrect? Options are force is a push or pull. Number B, force can change the direction of a moving object. Number C, force can change the shape of an object. Number D, force cannot stop a moving object. So number D is incorrect because force can stop a moving object. So you have to put a tick on question number, answer number D. Number D is the right answer. This one is incorrect, rest of the Statements are correct. A, B, C are correct and D is incorrect. Now, question number 4. Which of the following force pulls down a ball that is thrown upwards? Options are A, frictional force, B, mus muscular force, C, gravitational force and D, none of these. Answer is gravitational force. Gravitational force pulls down any object that is thrown upwards. Now, number B. Fill in the blanks. Question number 1. Dash is required to perform work. Answer is energy. Number 2. The two ends of a magnet are called dash. Answer is poles. Number 3. A ball rolling on the floor stops after some time due to dash force. Answer is frictional force. And question number 4, it is difficult to climb dash on the stairs, climb up on the stairs. Now, question number C, state whether the following statements are true or false. Number 1, force cannot change the direction of a moving object. This statement is incorrect because force can change the direction of a moving object. So, you have to write false inside the box. Number 2. When a body is displaced by force, work is said to be done. 
the statement is correct so you have to write true inside the box number 3 muscular force is exerted by our muscles this is a correct statement so you have to write true inside the box and number 4 same poles of a magnet attract each other this one is an incorrect statement because same poles of the magnet repels each other so you have to write false inside the box so students today is this much have a nice day